Cheerio, my friends. Cheerio. Welcome back to young Lara Lurkin outside this very lovely mansion. We completed the games and all of the glorious challenges outside on the jungle gym, the swing set, the playground, and now we're pushing our way indoors. Welcome back to Tomb Raider. Shout out to the Tomb Raider to be specific. That's a gigantic bunny rabbit. Holy crap. Easter come early. Give me a chocolate bunny of that size. I will be sick, but I definitely feel great. Thanks to all the support you guys left on the opening videos. I hope you're pumped for more. I'm liking it. I'm loving it. Spider-Man is done. And so now we're going to have some Lara Croft fun. Very emotional ending uh, to Spidey. I'm not going to spoil anything, obviously. But be curious to see what the dark ending of this game is that they claim it may have. Okay, so where am I going? Wait, am I climbing? Oh, I'm climbing. Now Sweet. Now the real treasure in the Forbidden Tomb. Young Lara's got it all. She has basically like a small I version must be quiet to avoid alerting the king. of the skill set of Big Lara, which makes, you know, that makes perfectly logical sense, but sometimes it takes decades to Lara develop. What does have to do with any of this? She's in her room doing her homework. She hasn't much time. Ain't got much time. Dad is up to no good. <laughs> I have no idea where we're going, but we're climbing the castle, King's apparently. Never expect Croc to climb the castle. Okay. I never expected a young girl to climb the castle either, but you are just continuously up to no good. Or up to the greatest of goods. I guess it just depends how you interpret adventure, cunning, daring, and danger. Is taller than she thought. Yeah, yo. Don't look down, Laura! Don't la -la -la look down. Oh, uh, breaking the blinds. Guess that's all right, though. Our hero continues climbing, looking for another way in. Up uh, the family sea. Uh, that seems dangerous. I am so worried she's gonna fall off this. Holy crap! Uh, Our hero oh my God. spies another entrance. We're looking for the red. Although I don't think from her. I mean, I guess from her angle she can see the tattered uh, flag-like object. Go on. She spots that and knows that must lead to the interior. I mean, I don't, I don't want to show you guys this, but I'm gonna show it to you anyways. Look how high up we are! Like that fall. I mean, Young Lara yeah. The extraordinary height and danger, and pushes it from her mind. <laughs> oh, I sure hope so, because your daddy will be daughterless if you do not make it safely across. You don't recover. I don't trust it. I would not stop. <laughs> Holy crap! Holy crap, Lara! Holy crap. Oh my. And she just keeps going. I just cry in panic at this point. Let's be honest. We'd all just cry in panic at this point. None of us are trained to climb buildings and have things fall. At least I don't think. If there's any building climbers out there who press X to recover, let me know in the comments below, please. Made it to the top of the tower. Taking our talents inside. She recovers her footing and her goal. Now, onward to the Forbidden Tomb. These parapets are damaged. She'll have to squeeze through. I'm afraid we're gonna find something like creepy or She's gross. She's so close. She can almost touch it. But an invisible force field stands in her way. There must be another entrance. Reminds me a lot of the most recent Jurassic Park movie that I really did not like. Where they're battling on top of one of these kind of things. Almost exactly. Our fearless adventurer has reached the summit. I feel like Chris Pratt is going to jump down at any moment. Or blue. Maybe there's too much green up here, though, for that to happen. We're just getting a little stumbly. I don't know if it's hot or we're just tired or what, but... We do need to be careful. There's a ladder to our right, and I think that's where we're headed. At last, she spots a way in below. She will have to be careful. Okay, yeah. Let's shimmy around... I don't think we should slide the glass. I think we should continue to walk on this. Why do I do these stupid things? <laughs> Shit! Whoa! Oh my god. <clears throat> Holy moment. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my. Okay. Chuckles, her audacity. She's close now. And somehow that didn't kill us. And somehow that fall was broken enough that we are not battered, bruised. We're just, I guess, a little, little, little shocked. 
at last, she enters the Forbidden Tomb. By night, the great bat stole the queen at 30 north and 90 east. From her pen, she wrote her heart. With light, unlock her love's release. I wonder if the white queen is lonely. Ooh, chess puzzles, chess puzzles, giant chess puzzles. They're on tracks, they're on tracks. What's it gonna open? What's it gonna crack? The king and the white queen. There's something in the shields. There's mirrors? Mirrors in the shields? Mystery of the White Queen. The great Lara Croft goes on a journey of intrigue and peril as she unravels the Mystery of the White Queen. A sketched depiction of clues leading to the White Queen. A map showing the location of the Forbidden Tomb. A letter from Dad. Nice. Okay. Coolio. The note said Trulio. 90 degrees east and 30 north. Okay. Mid 14th century barding. Germanic, I think. I can't imagine how heavy those bardings were. Those poor horses. I bet the poor thing could hardly see out of that chanfron. She knows everything. She's just like baby Einstein the poor here. poor queen, Maria Theresa, died a painful death. To which the king said, This is the first trouble she has given me. <laughs> the sun king, Louis XIV, married Maria Theresa, ending a long-standing war between France and Spain. A quotation from Chaucer. What is better than wisdom? Woman. Huh. What is better than a good woman? Nothing. All right then. The head of King David. From a shepherd to a king. Imagine that. The cup of St. John. The apostle had been given a chalice of poisoned wine. Nice. But after his blessing, the poison transformed into a snake and he drank the wine unharmed. Interesting. This is an old game. Two shields and a white crown. Could that be the white queen? Hey, that's the setup we need. Okay, okay. A few more little uh, museum a pieces here. Scroll. Justice is the constant and perpetual wish to render everyone his due. Emperor Justinian. This is Egyptian, an evil eye box. Yeah. The contents were meant to help sustain and provide for people in the afterlife. Oh, wait, what is it? 30 degrees north, I think. Something like that. Let's go quickly venture back. I know the white queen pattern for the chessboard. What is this again? Let's look at our notes. Oh, 30 north, 90s. enigmatic illustration recovered from a cursed and empty... All right, 30 north, 90 east, and then move all the doodads around the board. Oh um, no, we gotta go the other way. Where is it gonna, watch it be Peru. I don't know that that's the case, but it would kind of make sense given. Ooh. With light, unlock her love's release. It works. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, we do need to shift these guys over. Right? Oh no, that's the topmost. It's, it's here and here, so... This guy needs to get out the way. It's so heavy. Oh, I can just move it. I don't. They, they, they don't have to like move like in set increments. You can just kind of get them out the way, but eventually the White Queen is going to come down from there and have to go straight up and through, so we might as well not mess with it anymore until we go grab the Queen herself, right? So we're here to get, align the White Queen, and work Croft our greatest puzzle yet. the forbidden mezzanine. She'll have to be careful. A Yatiri, a South American healer. Ooh la la. <gasps> it is a blue. A baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. I wonder if it lost its mother too. That's sad. Letter from Dad, a construction company. I just company. wanted to thank you for your discretion, as well as the work you have done. The vault has been constructed exactly to my specifications. 
The final payment will be sent at the end of the week. The delay was due to an accounting error, which has now been rectified. Yours, Richard Croft. The vault. The vault. The vault. Some of this stuff doesn't have anything to say to me. All right, this no one does, though. No where you stand, these masks seem to stare at you. Animal skulls, an omen of death, and symbols of great change. This is from Colombia, a Xeno chieftain mask. I wonder if these eyes have seen El Dorado. This looks Mayan. Is it Kukulkan? I wonder who those two dogs are. I wonder who the two skinny dogs are as well. They're so funny. They're so funny. I haven't seen some of these artifacts before. An ossuary. This box contains the bones of the dead. I can't read the inscription. Heh. Wow, wow, wow. This is the kind of armor that the conquistadors wore during the Age of Discovery. I wonder what they found. Maybe this? Or these cool masks? A statue of an Ariki from the Cook Islands. How does she know literally everything? 25th Dynasty. The interior of the sarcophagus is incredibly intricate. Now granted, she's probably just reading the little note cards or whatever, but still, it's quite impressive. This looks Greek? No, Persian. I wonder what she's guarding. Um, she's very angry, I guess, that indicates that she's guarding something, perhaps? Hmm, a Persian lioness. But someone stole her head. I wonder what she was looking at. It's kind of terrifying, they just took her head. As long as you can't have every, you know, artifact all nice and clean. The of Agamemnon, found in Mycenae. Cute. An African tribal mask, made of gold. Ashanti, perhaps. Alright, so this is clearly where we need to put the the White Queen, but she ain't here. Oh, we're gonna open up the bird. The great bat swing is on the Or it's a bat. Okay. And that dropped the two red lights for the wonderful, uh, the guards. Oh, that's letting us know the alignment, the arrangement that they need to be in. Okay, so there's one, and the second one's here. All right, so. You are there, my friend. Push you out of the way, my friend. And then we'll pull these guys all the way to their safe spot where they want to be standing to support the queen and uh, help this. Oh God. The knight's shield reflects uh, the light beam. I mean, technically, I guess this is another way to do it. I was gonna have it go about the other way and just pull this one through the empty the opening that I already created, but we can also do it this way, I guess. All right, all we gotta do is knock this guy to the right, to the right, eastward O. Oh. All right, and now we can just shove Sir Shieldy into the second shield slot, and we should be gold as gumdrops. Hit it. Yo! Beautiful baby. All right, and it's a little bit of a tight fit there, so let's, we'll just side shuffle. I can do that. Lock, line, there she is. and free the queen. The white queen, trapped. I have to help her. Okay. How are we gonna get back there? We like drop in? Sounds like something just opened. I don't know if that was a door or what the heck that was. Um, you think it might be like in one of these boxes or like 
I don't even really know what I'm looking for, but can I rotate this again? I feel like that's just gonna... Yeah, I feel like that's just gonna be bad. It must be down on the, the main floor here. It's a weird perspective. Thanks for the swamp. Do I stand here? Have to free the White Queen. Yeah, I got it, but how? Mm. I need a bookcase to push. She's like locked in a cell here. Hello? Have to free the White Queen. Okay, maybe something more with this picture. This is an old game. Two shields and a white crown. Could that be the White Queen? Yeah, no, I get you. I mean, that 100% is. Now oh, hey. Okay. Oh, because that, that dropped the ladder. Yeah, that's right. I was like, something in reverse might be really helpful With here. Light, unlock her love's release. All right, we're going to slide her straight into place, and she should go good right there. Get to cross the unknown threshold into a brave new dimension known as the Stanley Parlor. Crosses the threshold into the unknown. It's an art gallery. These are mom's things. Oh. Oh. No wonder. The path was dark and is guarded by. Said the Red Knight. The White Queen regarded him with a curious smile and said, Bats! I'm not afraid of bats! I'm not afraid of anything! Tell me about this. You and me are riding a T-Rex in Egypt. Where's Daddy? At work. Mm. What's in the box? childhood because you're always in some tomb on the other side of the world. Why can't you be happy with what you have? Yikes a mania. We started this episode off talking about intense emotion and boy do they deliver. Morning. <sighs> what? Did something so, happen uh, in that uh, silver crown gosh. mountain? Yeah. Oh, we got the uh, the vest from. <laughs> I don't really like it. I guess it benefits uh, 
Enemies take longer to detect and identify LAR as a threat. Reduce noise from running. I mean, it's kind of cool, but... It kind of also looks kind of... I mean, I guess we want to wear it for a little bit. I guess. I don't know. Um... What I was going to say is I wonder what was on that phone call that caused him to eventually commit suicide. I'm sure it wasn't directly related, but it had to have some impact that he was on the phone talking about Lara, like, hey, come do your maths, and then boom. You know, like, what what led to that? Two skill points is what we want. I wonder what the jungle has in store for us today. Ugh, whatever it is, we'll handle it. Hey, it can't be worse than yesterday, right? <laughs> All right, I think talking is done. We got a little extra garb here that's going to give us some uh, good stealthy bits for our journey forward. And we got fun stuff everywhere. The Jaguar realm has been respected, I think. Sort of, kind of, maybe not. And we can push through there. Let's see if there's anything else. Um, can we climb up here? We can. And I don't. I mean, there's this. Oh, we're still in the same, like, mountainous region. I've already messed around here. I'm, I feel good about what I got. Onward and upward, baby. Alright, so let's push through. Should be getting close to that little village, right? Tag team tree bark takedown. Oh, God. Jonah's going first. I guess they're both so strong they don't even think twice about who goes first. I can't believe Lara's, like, kind of wearing the part of the, the jacket. I feel a little weird about that. I might take this thing off. Even though it has some benefits, I do feel slightly strange about that. I like how she, like, can grab some of the leaves as she goes. I think that's kind of cute. Alright. And then actually grab some of the leaves as we go. Alright. Oh, that's the, uh... That's the point to play. But then I want to see what's over here... Because there is some good stuff, it looks like. Oh, this is a return of the wreckage, I guess? <clears throat> Tying it back together. Is this? I don't know. Let's quickly see. It is a return of the wreckage. And that means that that challenge tomb is back over here. Right? It's like... Our campsite is here. And the challenge team, I believe, is over this. Yeah. <coughs> Alright, we might as well do this while we're here. Pack in some more fun, and hopefully they don't limit us, because we do have our climbing axe back. So we can pry the barrier open at close range. And kick it in. The challenge. Realm. The last one was pretty cool. It was uh, a lot of platforming and then some spooky dudes yelling from above. We never really got to see them closely, but we did get to see that they were there. Alright. <coughs> did not mean to do that. That was a very awkward jump. I'm sorry. Okay, good grapple. No. No, not. Big reeds. Yucky waters. Fix the hair. Away we go. I'm definitely sorry for that one video where I put in the the, the game one Lara. Like at first I didn't realize it, and then I was like, oh my god, yes. Like as soon as I went to cutscene, I was like, she looks so old. Like not in an age way, but in like an aged way. You know what I mean? Like this game is from forever ago. Am I shooting these things down? Maybe. No. It sure kind of looks like that though. Nifty. I don't know if that's gonna hold or not, but I sure hope. Oh, I think so. This might represent one of the Lords of Shababa. Lords of Yubaba? I got some fat, by the way, that we're gonna use for upgrades. Make a base camp. Hey, fast travel is now a thing. Now and now and now a thing. Um, ooh, climbing axe is acquired. None of these things have upgrades, but the bows do. And we got some more slots. Okay. Um. Stronger limb used in bow construction allows for increased strength tension, delivering higher arrow speed and more damage. Quicker rate of fire. Drawing smoother and faster. 
Additional hold time. Okay, so damage or rate of fire? Probably damage. I want like one shot to be really good. We'll save some in case we acquire another um, weapon or something soon that we want to use our goodies for. And we get to head across a really spooky thin bridge. Kind of feels like if Dark Souls went ancient ruins of the like Mayan or Aztecian or uh, you know any of those types instead of being all you know like gothic and old timey and medieval like if they were like hey or in Sekiro's case uh, very like feudal Japan style environments but if they went to like a place like this like it would fit with all their like lizard type frog type creatures all the freakazoids they have going on there, like, it could work. It'd be a, such a different vibe, and the weaponry would be really different, but it would be fun, I think. Okay. So, time to dive back under the water. The soundscape in this game is really cool. Wait, is this another bridge? Wait. Or is this the bridge? Oh, this is another bridge, okay. So, we entered a center chamber, and then... Bridged, bridged into the center chamber and then bridged out, I guess. Okay. Got a little turned around. Wait, no, we were here before. Were we not? No, that's not gonna do nothing. Okay, I'm crazy. They've, they've looped me around in here. They want me to go back, but there's got to be something forward to mess with, right? There's got to be. Unless this literally is just a, like, hey. There's no pathway. There's nothing out of here except... Maybe there legitimately isn't anything, any way out. Just this and... Oh no, oh no, I found something. I found something. Well, thank goodness we came back. Plenty more to explore. We're probably going to gain Amazing. the hype that we need. Is this a polka talk court? A polka talk court? Is it like a sports court? That's going to be kind of cool. If that's what it is. Oh, dang. What the heck are we going to do with this trial? We will tackle it when we return. Coming back with that creepy guy in the center. The guy gets, looks like he's got giant cucumbers for eyes. So we're going to have to try not to stare at him and solve this mystery next time. Complete the challenge too and move onward with Jonah. A cool episode. A sad, somber episode. But a lot of puzzle solving. And now we are probably getting closer uh, to putting more combat into play. We'll do that soon. Until time, we're having a fantastic day. I hope you're enjoying the game. If you are, leave a like. Let me know in the comments down below. Drink so much chocolate. I love you. And until next time, we'll see you all. Later.